Okay, so in my previous lecture I explained that on the scale of human consciousness that is an exponential scale that goes from 1 to 1,000, 1 being the consciousness of an amoeba, one-celled organism that might be growing in uh, the water in your neighborhood river, and 1,000 is the consciousness of Buddha, a very enlightened being. So, uh, I told you that in, up until 1987, the collective consciousness of humanity calibrated under 200. It wasn't until 1987 that it popped over to about 203. Uh, anything under 200 is a negative consciousness. It actually heads towards death. So, it's not progress. And then I explained that the average householder in one human lifetime moves up three or four points on the scale of human consciousness. And I said, Dr. Hawkins, who was the expert at this, said that a human should try to get to 540 on the scale in one human lifetime. He says it's achievable. 540 is the level of unconditional love, and that is the love you get from your dog. So it's not a hard task, but you got to remember most people on the planet calibrate not at 540, way below. Plenty of people calibrate still to this day under 200, and they're highly negative, toxic people. And there's uh, societies that are based upon um, toxic religions, you know. So. You know, if, if you believe in the, the type of Islam that believes in um, executing gay people by pushing them off the top of buildings or by um, cutting off their heads, you're highly negative, okay? So there's versions of, you know, of people that are absolutely, they're demonic. They're demonic. So hell on earth. Mm, okay, so if you're just a regular Joe... And you move up three or four points in your lifetime by basically just being here. Uh, why should you really go and make an effort to, you know, hit 540? You know, why do it? The answer is reincarnation. If you're going to only move uh, four points in this lifetime by doing nothing, uh, you are going to have to reincarnate here. On this planet and it's basically going to be the same as it is now the same toxic people the same toxic religions the same toxic everything and you're going to have to come back and do it all over again in the same situation now first nations uh, in north america have a saying think of uh future generations, seven generations down the line, anytime you make a decision about anything. And this brings it right home to you. If you do your work in this lifetime, and everyone else does their work in this lifetime, in the next generations, those next seven generations, you think, well, it's, who cares? It's not me. I'm going to be dead. No, it's going to be you. You are going to be the ones in those next seven generations reincarnated. So it's not like you're doing it for some somebody you don't know. You're going to be doing it for you. And if you really work hard on raising your consciousness, uh, you might not even have to come back to Earth. You might be able to go to some celestial realm that is unbelievably beyond paradise. But you're not going to get there just by dying. That is a foolish notion propagated by stupid churches. You don't die and go to heaven. You die and you go to basically this place all over again. The only way you get out of this rat race is you have to work on yourself. And no one else can do it for you. So you got to think of yourself. And everyone else here, all of your friends and all your family too, 
You know, that's why you need to spread the word. We have to raise our consciousnesses. And we've got to work on it all the time. We have to learn to meditate. And we have to learn the meaning of letting go from a spiritual perspective. This is a brief lecture. And, you know, I've talked about these things before. I just wanted to really bring it home to you. Thinking about seven generations down the line is not somebody else. It's you. You are going to be here, reincarnated. And if you want it to be an easier life, next generation or seven generations down the line, you have to start doing something now. Make sense? I'm Jokey McFloki for Halibiski Incorporated. We like to.